should that roof have been secure, period? That building in particular has a, a sloped roof uh, at its highest point. Um, and so, you know, there's a safety factor that would be con considered there that we wouldn't want to put somebody up on a sloped roof. Uh, and so, you know, the decision was made to secure the building uh, from inside. Uh, you pointed out, Congressman, that the shooter didn't have any problem getting up on that roof. And if you look at pictures of the counter sniper team, they were set up on a roof that looked like it had exactly the same slope. So what do you make of that excuse? I think there's a crisis of confidence right now at the top level of the Secret Service, not the agents on the ground, but the, the head of the Secret Service. And many of my colleagues have been expressing the same concern uh, for her to make a statement like that. Uh, it, it just it, it raises even more questions. Uh, you know, the, the, why wasn't a counter uh, sniper team on that rooftop? And as you pointed out, the other roofs had similar slopes. The shooter had no problem uh, maneuvering that roof himself. And so, uh, you know, whether they were taken, whether she took this seriously enough or not, uh, we surely haven't gotten the answers that we deserve. And we're going to get those answers. And frankly, there needs to be accountability. Unfortunately, one of the things we've seen from the Biden administration in so many areas of failure is that there is no accountability. And, and at some point, if somebody does doesn't do their job properly. Uh, you, you need to bring in somebody else. This is too important of a job. Your one task is to protect the presidents of the United States and former presidents of the United States. And, uh, you know, all of the other stuff that she's focused on is way outside of the mission. And, and I think she might have lost sight of the mission. You got to wonder if she's going to keep her job. She was asked about that in this brand new ABC News interview. Here's how she responded. Listen. Who is most responsible for this happening? What I would say is that the Secret Service is responsible for the protection of the former president. So the buck stops with you? The buck stops with me. I am the director of the Secret Service. It was unacceptable, and it's something that shouldn't happen again. Makes you wonder about her future. We sat down with Director Kim Cheadle today for an exclusive interview. What was your reaction when you saw the events unfold on Saturday? Shock, uh, and then concern, obviously. Uh, for the former president. This is an event that should have never happened. Who is most responsible for this happening? What I would say is that the Secret Service is responsible for the protection of the former president. So the buck stops with you? The buck stops with me. I am the director of the Secret Service. It was unacceptable, and it's something that shouldn't happen again. The president and Homeland Security Secretary said today they had 100 percent confidence in you. But there are some members of Congress calling on you to resign. I appreciate the secretary's comments, and we're going to continue to be transparent uh, and communicate with people. You, you plan to stay on, absolutely. I do plan to stay on. Director Cheeto says she will not wait on an independent review of the security failure. She says she plans to make immediate changes. We learned today she's already expanded the tactical or SWAT support for former President Trump. First of all, let's put up some VO here of people identifying the shooter on the roof. Listen here. There he is right there. Right there, see him? He's laying down, see him? There he is. Because we have millions and millions of people. He's we on the roof, he's right on the roof. We have people that right should here. not be here. Right on the roof. All right, you can hear yeah. them saying, officer, there's somebody on the roof. Apparently, an officer climbed up there. Uh, Crooks apparently pointed his rifle at him. The officer jumped back down off the roof for fear of being shot instead of engaging him. But here's what the Secret Service Director Kim Cheadle said about why they didn't have anybody up on that roof. You Director of the United States Secret Service Kimberly Cheadle speaks exclusively with ABC News, taking responsibility for that stunning breakdown in security. This is an event that should have never happened. Who is most responsible for this happening? What I would say is that the Secret Service is responsible for the protection of the former president. So the buck stops with you? The buck stops with me. I am the director of the Secret Service. It was unacceptable, and it's something that shouldn't happen again. Minutes after Trump took the stage Saturday in front of thousands of people, <laughs> gunman Thomas Matthew Cooks wounding the former president and three others before a Secret Service counter sniper took him out. I'm being told that the... Um, the shooter uh, was actually identified uh, as uh, a potential Threat. person of, of suspicion. Units started responding to seek that individual out. Uh, unfortunately, with the rapid succession of how things unfolded, uh, by the time that individual was eventually located, uh, they were on the rooftop and uh, were able to, to fire off uh, at the former president. ABC News now learning that heavily armed local police were actually stationed inside the building. The gunman climbed, but they missed him. 
Butler town officials confirming that after they became aware of the threat, a local police officer climbed up to the roof and confronted Crooks, but did not succeed in stopping him. What was your reaction when you saw the events unfold on Saturday? Shock uh, and then concern, obviously. Uh, for the former president. Investigators now trying to determine whether roof access had been properly locked down. The shooter climbing up seemingly unimpeded, about 400 feet from the stage, with a direct line of sight on the former president. Should that roof have been secure, period? That building in particular has a, a sloped roof uh, at its highest point. Um, and so, you know, there's a safety factor that would be con considered there that we wouldn't want to put somebody up on a sloped roof. Uh, and so, you know, the decision was made to secure the building uh, from inside. Cheeto says the Secret Service was responsible for the inner perimeter of the rally, where Trump was. But local police were responsible for the outer perimeter, where the gunman was located. In Washington, lawmakers demanding answers, calling on the Secret Service director to appear before Congress. We will be transparent both internally with my own folks uh, and externally with members of Congress and with the American public. Uh, that's what the public deserves. The president and Homeland Security Secretary said today they had 100 percent confidence in you, but there are some members of Congress calling on you to resign. I appreciate the secretary's comments, and we're going to continue to be transparent uh, and communicate with people. Do you plan to stay on? Absolutely. I do plan to stay on.